You want to make beautiful digital art using AI, but don't know where to start? You've come to the right place. In this video, I'm going to show you how with a free website I love called Lexica Art. If you haven't heard of Lexica Art, it's basically Google search for AI generated art. I use it primarily for blogs, but it's great for any type of social media content you create. If you're interested in creating high quality AI generated art, but don't know where to start, or you don't consider yourself tech savvy, you've come to the right place, this video is for you because it's safe. Okay, let's hop onto my computer and I will show you exactly how to use Lexica Art. Okay, and welcome to my computer. So what you see here is Lexica Art, a free website you can access by simply going to lexica.art. You can sign up for free. The first thing I'll show you is just simply how to search for images. You can do something like, let's say, purple cat overlooking mountains with a star in the distance. Super basic, just type in exactly what you want. You'll see here some images here are generated. So if you go on these images, you'll see that the prompt here was actually much more detailed. So this was made um, by somebody with a lot more experience, what, what are now being called prompt engineers. Um, so if you don't deem yourself a prompt engineer uh, or are not, and are not interested in learning how, this is a great alternative just for searching for images and having these high quality detailed images pop up. You can see some variations here. And if you like this, but it's not exactly what you're looking for, you can click on, um, you can either edit it yourself or go explore the style and it'll generate some more options. So pretty cool here. And what, what you'll see here is all the images that pop up are in this, um, what's it called? Not land, the opposite of landscape. So vertical. Um, that's a great segue to the second thing I'd like to show you, which is the editor. So if you click on generate, what you'll see here is the lexicar Lexica Art Editor, um, or what they call it, Aperture. And what this allows you to do is actually edit images and create your own. So just to give you an example, let's say you wanted to edit um, that same image we were looking at before. Where's the chubby cat? There we go. You can go open in editor and you could, um, if you know what you're looking for, um, purple, you know, specks in the distance, you can add that. You can also add things you would like to exclude. So let's say no buildings, you can generate that and it will um, create a variation. And I apologize about my cat, that's Reggie back there. I'm not sure if you can see him, but he's wanting to play. So after I film this, I promise I'll play with him. Um, but you can see here that it's kind of edited this image. You can also adjust the size. Um, or I should say the format to be more um, conducive to the social media platform or area of the internet you are going to post it on. So for me, I use Lexica Art for blog posts. So uh, the landscape format is a lot more fitting, um, but you can adjust this to a square for Instagram posts or LinkedIn posts, anything you want. Um, it is very, versatile. So these are some amazing images. And if you wanted just to use these, you simply click on it. You can save image. Um, I believe there's a screen where you can download it. You can also select out paint, which basically just um, uh, generates more images using this as a base. I know, buddy. I'm sorry. I gotta, I'm doing something. Come up here and I'll pet you. Okay. Um, but what's really cool and what I wanted to show you is you can also use Lexica Art. So let me um, clear all these as a uh, artificial intelligence editing tool. So you guys want to see them? Hey buddy, I'm going to show you to the camera. Ah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, there we go. There's the loud noisy boy. Hello. Okay. Speaking of cats, right? So. You can use this as an editing tool. So what I will actually do is, let's just clear this. So what you can do is upload an image of your own. So um, I have made this image on Canva just really quickly to show you kind of how to use this. So um, let's say I want to upload my own image here um, of a cat overlooking a mountain, escape mountains. And um, that's going to load and then 
what I'm going to do here is, I wonder if you can just generate, no, you need to explain. So, and then you just explain to cat overlooking mountains, so generate. And then what it'll actually do is use your piece of artwork as a basis. So this allows you to make kind of more of a, a custom um, piece of art. And then you can see here kind of gives you a basis and then you can start to work off these. If, and that's just to kind of show you um, how, to, how to use the editor to create more custom images. As you can see, these are nowhere near quality of some of the images the artists have already made here. So for, for blog posts and for uh, generating images, I almost always just pick an image from the, uh, from the search tool. Um, which is another great segue to the third and final reason why I love Lexica art, particularly as a writer. Um, see, these are amazing. Uh, very cool. Very cool, very cool. And that is that it saves me a lot of time when searching for images to use as my heading for, or uh, my featured image for, for my blog post. So um, if you're like me, if you're a writer, you may um, spend way too much time choosing images for your stories. I find that I get kind of stuck. I want something, I have a vision, and then I can't find a stock image. Or maybe I do find a stock image I like, but it is protected by copyright and I'd have to pay for it. Like, I want that one. And to be honest, the image does not really matter when it comes uh, to, to blog posts. That's just kind of my perfectionist tendencies taking over and you may experience the same thing. So um, what I love about lexical art is what I'm about to show you right now. So what you can do is simply copy and paste the headline from your article um, right into lexical art and it will generate an image using its big AI brain to generate an image that would um, encapsulate um, the uh, article. So you can see here, um, the title I put in here was I tried the drink of the gods, just like the, uh, the greatest athletes on earth. Here's what happened. To be honest, I don't love that headline now that I'm reading it back, but in all transparency, I've been sick this week and that's my, um, uh, excuse. Um, but maybe that wasn't the best example you can see here. <laughs> that wasn't a good example. Let me try a better example. These, you could, use these but that's not the AI's fault that's my headlines all over the place let's just do a more simple one use a 90 minute rule to let's just this is gonna be way better all right just bear with me I apologize okay so use the 90 minute rule to sleep deeper and better optimize your energy so you can see here these are more what you would use for a blog post so you can see here's some pretty cool images here Let's see, I wanted to do, um, cool, now I'm gonna get distracted. What would I, what would I actually use for my blog? It's about sleep, I better optimize your energy. This one caught my eye. So let's go open editor, and I would make it a different format, obviously, because this is vertical. Yeah, this is cool. Something like this. So, um, and then if you like this image, you can just save the image. And then what I would do is, oh, this is a better one. I like this one more. This is a cool, I like this image. So what, what I would do if you want to use this was I would save the image when uh, adding these to, um, it's for a blog post and need attribution. Things generated using Lexica Art. And then, anyway, thank you so much for watching the video to the end. I really hope it has helped you make your journey of creating AI art a little bit easier, or at the very least, helped point you in the direction of where to get started. As always, on your way out, please feel free to pick up a free product from my online store. I appreciate you, and I'll see you in the next video.